Well, as the river saga goes on, um, <clears throat> I'm learning stuff. Um, the herd of 8,000 people <clears throat> is moving along the desert parallel to the river, which is two miles away. So each time I come back and bring people back to the river, I'm depositing them at the river downstream from where I did the last group. So an interesting thing happens. I get the idea to try to go upstream to where I put the first people just to see how they're doing. And I do, I go up there and they're fighting each other over who owns which side of the river. They're making housing that is dumping shit into the river. Uh, they're damming up the river so it less of it flows downstream. They're destroying it. I'm like blown away. And so uh, I, I, I literally don't know what to do about this. And uh, so then I go on back and uh, to the 8,000 to, to maybe get some more and take them downstream, but I have to think. I don't know what to do. Um, it's, it's many times I, I don't know what to do. I just keep going, and I try to figure things out on the run. Okay, well, I get back, and I have this awakening that I see all the struggling, starving, thirsty people moving along in a herd, and, and I'm... I, I, the thought occurs to me, these people are too destroyed and wasted at life itself to have energy to fight each other for wherever they're at in the desert or one side of the river or the other. And certainly they're not doing things that are destroying anything around them because they've destroyed themselves. So it's like the minute people at the river got got complacent and and, and happy and everything okay... They started destroying each other and their environment. So now that was an interesting thing I, uh, as compared to the 8,000 walking along, not having energy, not having, not having any energy at all to do anything but try to stay alive. They didn't have time to war. They didn't have time to destroy anything around them. Now, there's also the, the uh, situation of... of kind of people are there? Are there different kinds of people? So I did get the idea from wherever to um, take some water back to the river. And as I took water back, I mean, from the river, take some water from the river to these people that are moving along in a herd. And I got the idea to give them a little bit of the water and I watched them. And as I gave them water, some of them gobbled it down, spilled it all over themselves, and and just didn't take them anything but the water for them. Others that I gave water to took a sip or two and passed it to somebody standing next to them. That caused me to start thinking who do I take to the river? And do I have the choice to take different people to the river? Doesn't everybody get the river? But if you take everybody to the river, some people are going to abuse the river and abuse each other, and some aren't. Who gets to make that decision? But that is an observation. The observation is that at the river, people did get a life and get it together, and start warring and destroying. People in the herd of 8,000 were too busy just trying to stay alive and keep walking to get into any trouble, so to speak, with their environment or each other. And also, I determined that there are different kinds of people that are, are they at different stages of development? I don't know, but some gobble the water, some share the water. What is in store for us at the river?